100 upon 64 under square root is equal to 55 under upon x. So this is in the form of a upon b under square root and this we can write it as square root of a upon square root of b. So it will be square root of 100 upon square root of 64 is equal to 55 upon x. Now square root of 100, 100 we can write it as 10 square under square root and 64 as 8 square under square root. Now we can remove this square root with this square. Why? Because square root means it is raised to the power of 1 upon 2. So when 10 square is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 and this means it is in the form of a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n and it is equal to a raised to the power m times n. So This will be 10 raised to the power 2 times 1 upon 2. Now this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. That's why we have cancelled the square root here is equal to 55 upon x or 10 upon 8 is equal to 55 upon x. We can cross multiply it. So x will multiply it to 10. So this becomes 10x, x is in numerator, so it will be, x is in denominator, so it will be in the numerator, 10x and 8 from this side in the denominator becomes the numerator. Why? Because when you change the side, division becomes multiplication. So, 8 was here in division, 10 was divided by 8, now it is multiplied to 55. Now, 10x is equal to 55 times 8. Let us divide both the sides by 10. This is called reciprocal action. Again 10 times x. That is by dividing it by 10. And to balance the equation, we do the same thing on the right hand side also. Divide it by 10. Because if we do the same action both the sides, the equation remains same. 10 and 10 gets cancelled. Here 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 times 11 is 55. So we divided 55 by 5 and 10 by 5. Now 2 times 4 is 8. So x is equal to 44. This is our answer. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.